So in the previous video, I showed how to take the Euclidean rhythm generator and modify it so that it works with automatonism in terms of how the bangs are sent and received. And then in this video, I'm going to show how to add controls and CV inputs uh, to make it more playable in the context of automatonism. Um, so what you can see here is where we left off, and this is what it looks like um, as a symbol. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this offset and instead later on we're going to replace this with a um, reset instead of a rotation. Um, so now so for the time being we don't need that anymore. And I'm going to get rid of all of these inputs. And then I'll be replacing these inputs, but for the time being I'm going to leave them there just so I can remember where they're all connected. Next, I'm going to set up the controls um, and just get all of those squared away and we'll see, uh, basically take it from there. And I'm going to set the length to be something between 1 and 32 beats long. change the name to CV length. And the CV in automatonism seems to be uh, like a signal that's usually between 0 and 1 or minus 1 and 1. So what's happening here is we're just scaling it. Really we're scaling it uh, to some number between 0 and 1. So next what we want to do is get the input CV and then combine that with this length and the CV to come up with our final value that we'll use to replace this. Um, so I'm just going to set this whole thing up and then maybe mention quickly what is happening. There. So what we have here now is um, the inlet is a signal, and then this unsig just turns it into the control rate value because uh, we don't really need to be changing the length at like signal speeds. And then this 32 is just scaling it to be the range of the length uh, up from 0. And then we're just adding the actual length to that CV signal and clipping it so that always stays within the range that we want, and then turning it into an integer um, so that we don't end up with fractional values of beats. And then for number of hits, we're actually going to do the exact same thing, so I'm just going to duplicate all of this. At this point, it should mostly be working the way we want, and I just want to add a few more things to the symbol and then actually create the symbol. So there, see the symbol looks more like what's happening in automatonism now. And then I need to, uh, oh, before I forget, I mentioned that I was going to put a reset in here also. So I'm just going to copy this 
and then send a zero in here to reset the whole thing. Uh, so this is useful if you want to line different rhythms up in certain ways, uh, which we can demonstrate later. So now we see here there's four inputs. Uh, so this one's going to be the clock, and then the CV for the length, CV for the number of hits, and then the reset. So I'm just going to add some labels here. close enough for now. And one additional thing is if we want to see uh, there is a color scheme. There's a color scheme that's used where the purple indicates that it's a um, CV attenuation. So these are the color values, 152, 152, and 220. So I'm just going to use that. Now let's try it out and see how well it works. So first I'll get a clock. Why don't we get some kind of a drum? Maybe a, start with a kick drum. the length and we don't change the number of hits there's less less hits in terms of the frequency of them we can put another one here Bass 